Hi, this is Charlie Sutterfield. I'm going to walk you through the process of downloading and installing Revit 2014. You can get to an Autodesk website to download your software for free if you're a student or a faculty member. Um, the way to get there is to just type in autodesk.com and that'll take you to the main Autodesk web page. Uh, we're actually headed toward a community so I click that drop down beside community and the one that I want is students and educators. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You can also get there by typing into your address window students.autodesk.com. And no, I don't want feedback. And so here I am at the education community. And the first thing that I want to do is to sign in using my Autodesk account. If you haven't created one, you need to stop now and go create your account. Uh, without an account, you won't be able to download the software. So go ahead over on the right hand side of the screen in the blue box, there's a little button that says sign in. So I go ahead and click on that. Um, once you've got your address or your um, Autodesk ID, uh, you can sign in that way. I'm just going to use my email address and password and click sign in. Okay, so now um, I'm all signed in over here in the blue box. It knows who I am. And so now I want my software to download. So I'm going to click on educators. Uh, you guys are probably going to click on students instead. Not much of a difference, um, just them keeping track of who's downloading what. So I click on educators, software for educators. And I need a 36 month license and I'm college. So I click on college and university. You do the same thing in the student side. And then <clears throat> it's got five software programs that it thinks are the most popular things out there. And the last one in that one is Revit. That's what I want. If you want to <clears throat> take a look at the other software packages that are available, you've got this filter by option up here. And the last button there is all products. And there are 77 Autodesk software packages that are available for you to download and play with for free. Um, but I want Revit. If Revit isn't on your list here, you can click on Architecture, uh, Engineering, and Construction, and it'll bring up a list of software here in just a minute. That will include Revit. There we go. So I scroll down, draw the software here. Okay, so Revit is on that list as well. So I can, I can get there either way. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Revit. And the first thing that you should do as you're preparing to download this is to look at system requirements, right? So there's a button right underneath the description of uh, the Revit software that says system requirements. Go ahead and click on that. That's going to take you to a, um, a different site or a different page. And you can just scroll down. It'll take you through all of the system requirements back to 2009. Um, but we're downloading 2014, and that happens to be at the, po the top of the list here. So the way that this is arranged, you've got different levels based on uh, different levels of hardware requirements based on what you're going to be using the software for. So it's got an entry level configuration. That's kind of the baseline minimum. This is what you have to have to make this stuff work on your computer. And so you can take a look at that and what that includes. If you scroll down a little bit more, you can get to the balanced performance. And that's a, a little bit higher um, performance. And then finally, you've got for large complex models, um, a description there for what's what's required. OK, so we've checked out the system requirements, and um, you can decide how successful your download is going to be and all that kind of stuff based on the system requirements. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I'm back on my download page. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page, and I want to show you the Get Help option down here. Um, there are different um, installation methods available for Revit 2014, and the top button there, how to help, or I'm sorry, help me decide which download method to use. Uh, that one walks you through the different options, and so you've got to download now if you're going to download it and then install it later. Uh, and then you've got an install now, which downloads and installs at the same time. That's the one I'm going to do. And then you've got a browser download. So um, 
you can take a look at those and decide which one it is that you want to use and all that kind of thing. Uh, but for me, the install now is what I'm going to do. So I'm back to my download page, scroll up a little bit. Okay, so we've done our system requirements. We've decided which download method we're going to use. Um, I've already signed in, so uh, step number one is done. And now I need to go on to step number two. So choose my version. So Revit 2014 is what I need. Choose my language, which is going to be English. And my operating system is Windows. Okay, so took a minute there to uh, pop up. See, I've got my serial number and my product key are there. And my file size, and I think I'm all good to go. Uh, it says an email containing the license information above has been sent to you, so that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and click Install Now. I need to read my license agreement. Yep, looks good. Uh, I accept, click Install. Uh, Norton Security has stopped their... Um, execution, but there we go. Click OK. A uh, little Windows access control. Click OK to that one. Okay, so Revit is now uh, starting the download process. So I've got a prompt here in the installation process to install on this computer, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. So I'm about five minutes into the installation process, the download process, and I received another pop-up here that asked me to agree to a licensing agreement again. And now it wants to know what it is that I want to install. And so now, based on my connection speed, which must be really low right now, it says I've got almost three hours of download remaining. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'll be back with you in a little bit. So the download time took about an hour and a half. Uh, that's on a cable connection on a home computer. And so this is the screen that pops up after the download is completed and things have been installed. And down in the lower right-hand corner, click the Finish button. So the first time you start Revit, you'll have to check a box to agree to their license requirements and then it will verify your license for you and then you'll see this pop up uh, telling you when it's going to expire. Autodesk will also gather some information based on your usage and so this window will pop up regarding desktop analytics as well. And so there you go. Now you have successfully installed Revit 2014. Uh, remember the help files that are available on the Students and Educators Community website at the Autodesk um, main website. Good luck.